Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of awe and reverence for your greatness. You are the creator of all things, seen and unseen, and we are humbled to be in your presence. We gather here to worship you, to give thanks for your abundant blessings, and to proclaim the divinity of your Son, Jesus Christ, who came to earth to save us from our sins. Your word is a tapestry of truth, a masterpiece of divine inspiration that tells the story of your love for us. From the beginning of time, you have shown us your grace and mercy, even though we have often turned away from you. Your love for us is unfailing and unending, and we are grateful for the gift of salvation that you have given us through Jesus Christ. As we gather here today, we ask for your continued guidance and wisdom. Help us to walk in your ways and to be faithful witnesses to your love and grace. Strengthen us in our faith and help us to share the good news of salvation with those around us. Father, we know that we are not worthy of your love and we ask for your forgiveness for the times when we have fallen short. We thank you for the gift of your Son, who died on the cross for our sins and rose again on the third day. We are grateful for the hope that his resurrection brings and for the promise of eternal life with you. Lord, we lift our hearts to you in praise and thanksgiving. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and we trust in your unfailing love and grace. In the Gospel of John, the opening words of the first chapter proclaim, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In this profound statement, we see the divinity of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, revealed in a way that is both poetic and powerful. The word, or logos in the original Greek, is a term that carries great significance in both Jewish and Greek thought. In the Jewish tradition, the word was seen as an expression of God's creative power, spoken into being at the dawn of creation. In Greek philosophy, the logos represented the principle of reason and order in the universe, a force that guided and sustained all things. By identifying Jesus as the Word, the Gospel of John brings these two ancient traditions together in a way that is both surprising and profound. Here is the living embodiment of God's creative power and wisdom, the very essence of divine reason and order, made flesh and dwelling among us. But this is not simply a matter of theological speculation or abstract philosophy. The Word, John tells us, was not only with God in the beginning, but was God. This is a bold and audacious claim, one that defies easy explanation or understanding. And yet, for those who have encountered the living Christ, it is a truth that resonates deep within the soul. Through Jesus Christ, we see the depth of God's love for humanity and the height of his majesty. We see the light that shines in the darkness, the hope that sustains us in times of trial, and the promise of eternal life that transcends all human understanding. As we reflect on the opening words of the Gospel of John, we are invited to contemplate the mystery of the Word made flesh, the one who was with God in the beginning and who continues to guide and sustain us even now. May we embrace this truth with humility and awe, and may the light of Christ shine ever brighter in our hearts and in our world. As we take time to reflect on the divinity of Jesus Christ, we cannot help but be reminded of the prophecy spoken by Isaiah. He spoke of a child who would be born, a son who would be given, and upon whose shoulders the government would rest. This child would be known by many names, Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. These words were spoken many years before the birth of Jesus, but they were a promise of something great to come. As we look at Jesus, we see the fulfillment of this promise. He is the one that Isaiah spoke about. He is the Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Jesus is not just a mere man who walked the earth. He is a divine being who came to save humanity from sin and death. He is the Son of God, and He came to reveal God's love and mercy to us. 
Through his life, death, and resurrection, Jesus made a way for us to be reconciled to God. As we reflect on the divinity of Jesus, we are reminded of God's faithfulness across the ages. He promised to send a Savior, and he fulfilled that promise through Jesus. We can trust in God's promises because he keeps them. We can have faith in Jesus because he is the one that Isaiah spoke about. Let us take time to reflect on the divinity of Jesus and remember the promise that was fulfilled through him. Let us give thanks to God for his faithfulness and for sending us a Savior who is both fully human and fully divine. May we continue to trust in Jesus and follow him as our Lord and Savior. Lord, we are in awe of the profound mystery of the Incarnation. The fact that Jesus, who is fully divine, would choose to take on human flesh and dwell among us is a remarkable expression of love and compassion. In doing so, he identified with our struggles, shared in our joys, and felt our pain. The Apostle Paul captures the essence of the Incarnation so beautifully when he writes, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage, Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. Here, we see the humility of Christ, who did not cling to his divine status, but instead chose to become a servant, taking on human form and likeness. In his humility, we find the true essence of divinity. Christ's willingness to serve, sacrifice, and love unconditionally is a profound expression of his divine nature and character. His life on earth was marked by selflessness, compassion, and grace, and this continues to be a source of inspiration for followers of Christ today. As we reflect on the mystery of the Incarnation, we are reminded of the depth of God's love for us. Jesus came to earth not only to identify with our humanity, but also to save us from our sin. Through his death and resurrection, we are given the opportunity to experience new life in him and to be reconciled to God. May the wonder of the incarnation continue to inspire us to live lives of humility, service, and love, just as Christ did during his time on earth. May we never lose sight of the profound truth that God became man in order to save us and bring us into a deeper relationship with him. Through the miracles that Jesus performed during his time on earth, he revealed the power and majesty of God. His miracles transformed the ordinary into something extraordinary and demonstrated the divine love and mercy that God has for his people. One of Jesus' most famous miracles was when he turned water into wine at a wedding in Cana. This act of compassion not only provided the wedding guests with an abundance of wine, but also showed that Jesus had the power to transform even the most mundane of things into something miraculous. Jesus also demonstrated his power over nature by calming the stormy sea. His disciples were terrified as the waves crashed around them, but with just a word from Jesus, the winds and waves were stilled. This miracle revealed Jesus' authority over all of creation and showed that he was indeed the Son of God. In addition to his power over nature, Jesus also had the ability to heal the sick. He cured the blind, the lame, and the lepers, showing that God's healing power was available to all who had faith. His compassion and love for those who were suffering were evident in every healing miracle that he performed. Finally, Jesus raised the dead, demonstrating that death was not the end and that there was hope beyond the grave. His miraculous resurrection from the dead on the third day showed that Jesus had power over death itself and that all who believed in him would experience eternal life. Through his miracles, Jesus revealed the power and love of God, and his acts of compassion were a sign of the kingdom to come. In that kingdom, every tear will be wiped away, and death shall be no more. Jesus' miracles were a testament to his divine nature and his mission to bring salvation to all who believe in him. In the teachings of Jesus, we find a profound and transformative message that speaks to the deepest parts of the human heart and soul. When he spoke, 
He did so with a sense of authority that commanded attention and invited reflection. His teachings were not merely a set of rules or guidelines, but a path to true happiness and fulfillment. One of the most striking examples of Jesus' teaching is the Sermon on the Mount, where he offers the Beatitudes as a way of life that brings us into the kingdom of heaven. These powerful statements challenge our conventional notions of success and happiness and invite us to embrace humility, mercy, purity of heart, and a hunger for righteousness. Jesus also teaches us to love our enemies, a message that is as radical and challenging today as it was 2,000 years ago. He calls us to transcend our natural tendencies toward anger, revenge, and bitterness, and to instead extend forgiveness, compassion, and understanding to those who have wronged us. Perhaps most importantly, Jesus teaches us to pray, offering the model of the Lord's Prayer as a guide for our own conversations with God. In these simple yet profound words, we are reminded of the holiness and majesty of God and invited to approach Him with reverence and awe. Throughout His teachings, Jesus offers us a message of hope and renewal, inviting us to let go of our fears and anxieties and to trust in the love and grace of God. He shows us the way to true peace and fulfillment and invites us to follow him on the path of eternal life. On the cross, Jesus made a powerful declaration that shook the foundations of the world. His words, it is finished, John 19 verse 30, signaled the completion of his mission on earth, the ultimate act of selflessness and sacrifice for the sake of humanity. Jesus' death was not a tragic accident or a senseless act of violence. It was a deliberate and purposeful act of love, carried out with the intention of reconciling humanity with God. Through his death, Jesus paid the penalty for our sins, taking upon himself the punishment that we deserved. He stood in our place, bearing the weight of our guilt and shame, so that we might be set free from the chains of sin and death. But Jesus' death was not the end of the story. Three days later, he rose from the dead, conquering death and securing for us the promise of eternal life. His resurrection is the ultimate proof of his divinity and the power of his love. It is a reminder that death has been defeated and that nothing can separate us from the love of God. As we reflect on the significance of Jesus' words, it is finished, we are reminded of the depth and breadth of God's love for us. We are called to respond to this love with faith and gratitude, living lives that reflect the selflessness and sacrifice of Jesus. May his words be a source of comfort and hope, reminding us that our sins are forgiven and our future is secure in him. In the book of Revelation, the Apostle John gives us a vivid picture of the risen Christ. He is no longer the humble servant who walked the earth, but rather a figure of great power and majesty, exalted to the highest place in heaven. His voice is like the sound of rushing waters, and his eyes blaze like fire. He is clothed in a robe that reaches down to his feet, and he wears a golden sash around his chest. His head and hair are white like wool, as white as snow, and his feet are like burnished bronze, glowing in a furnace. But it is not just his appearance that sets him apart. He declares in a voice that thunders like a trumpet, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. These are no mere words, but a statement of his divine authority and power. He is the beginning of all things, the source of all life and creation, and he is also the end, the one who will bring all things to their ultimate fulfillment. In him, we see the completion of God's plan for the universe, the goal toward which all of history is moving. It is no wonder, then, that he is called the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is not just another human ruler, but the ultimate authority over all things. Every knee will bow before him, and every tongue will confess that he is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This is not a forced submission, but a recognition of the truth that he alone is worthy of our worship and devotion. 
In Christ, we see the ultimate expression of God's love for us. He came to earth as a humble servant, willing to suffer and die for our sake, so that we might be reconciled to God. But he did not remain dead. He rose from the dead, conquering sin and death, and ascending to the right hand of the Father. There he reigns as the exalted Lord, the one who has the power to save us and transform us into his likeness. As we contemplate the risen Christ, let us be filled with awe and wonder at his power and majesty. Let us also be filled with gratitude and love for all that he has done for us. And let us live our lives in light of his authority and power, seeking to serve him and glorify him in all that we do. Dear Lord, we come before you with grateful hearts for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we have been granted access to your throne of grace, and we are forever changed by his sacrifice. We find our purpose, our joy, and our ultimate hope in him. We recognize that we are imperfect and fall short of your glory, but we know that through Christ, we are made new. We ask that you give us the strength and wisdom to live a life that reflects his love and light to those around us. May our actions and words be a continuous offering of praise to you. In a world that is often filled with darkness and despair, we pray that we may be a beacon of hope to those who are lost. Help us to be steadfast in our faith, even in difficult times, and to trust in your plan for our lives. We thank you for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon us, and we ask that you continue to guide us as we seek to follow your will. As we move forward in our lives, let us hold firmly to the confession of our hope in Christ without any wavering or hesitation. We should always remember that he who has promised us salvation and eternal life is faithful and true to his word. Let us strive to live our lives as imitators of Christ, always seeking to love and serve one another. Let us be selfless in our actions and put the needs of others before our own. By doing this, we bear witness to the truth of the gospel and spread the message of God's love and grace to all those around us. It is important that we remain steadfast in our faith and not allow the distractions and temptations of this world to sway us from our beliefs. We must cling to the hope that we have in Christ and trust in his plan for our lives. In all that we do, let us remember the words of Paul in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13, And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. May we always strive to live a life of faith, hope, and love, and may God's grace and mercy be with us always. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and praise. You are the Almighty God, the Creator of all things, and the source of our salvation. We ask that you strengthen our faith, renew our spirits, and fill us with your peace. Help us to trust in you completely and to lean not on our own understanding. Father, we live in a world that is full of uncertainty and chaos. But we know that you are in control and that nothing can happen without your knowledge and permission. We pray that you would guide us in your truth and teach us to walk in your ways. Help us to be obedient to your commands and to seek your will in all that we do. Lord, we confess that we are weak and prone to wander. We ask for your forgiveness for all of our sins and for the times when we have failed to trust you fully. We know that you are a God of mercy and grace and that you will forgive us when we come to you with contrite hearts. Finally, we ask that you would give us the strength and courage to face whatever challenges may come our way. We know that our hope is in you and that you will never leave us or forsake us. Help us to live our lives in a way that honors you and to be a light in this dark world. We love you, Lord, and we trust in your unfailing love and faithfulness. In the precious and holy name of Jesus, we pray, Amen. Gracious and almighty God, we come before you with hearts overflowing with gratitude and admiration for the incredible mission of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through his life on earth, he taught us the true meaning of love, 
compassion, and selflessness. His unwavering commitment to your will and his sacrifice on the cross serve as a testament to your never-ending love for humanity and your desire for all of us to come to the knowledge of salvation. We are in awe of the depth of your love, which drove you to send your only Son to earth to redeem us from our sins. Jesus' life and teachings continue to inspire and guide us, and we are forever grateful for the hope and promise of eternal life that he has made possible. As we reflect on the significance of Jesus' mission, we are reminded of the immense grace and mercy that you have bestowed upon us. Despite our flaws and shortcomings, you continue to love us unconditionally and offer us the gift of salvation through faith in your Son. We pray that you will continue to bless us with your grace and guidance as we seek to follow in Jesus' footsteps and share your love with others. May we never forget the incredible sacrifice that Jesus made for us, and may we always strive to live our lives in a way that honors him and brings glory to your name. Lord, as we immerse ourselves in the teachings of your holy word, we are struck by the profound purpose for which Jesus was sent to us. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus himself proclaims his divine mission with the powerful words, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Luke 4 verses 18 to 19 These words resonate with us, Lord, as they reveal the heart of Jesus' mission on earth. He came to bring hope to the hopeless, to offer freedom to those held captive by sin and suffering, and to shine a light in the darkness of this world. Throughout his ministry, Jesus reached out to those who were marginalized and oppressed, showing them the boundless love and compassion of God. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and spoke truths to power, all to demonstrate the transformative power of God's grace. As we reflect on Jesus' mission, we are reminded of our own call to follow in his footsteps. We are called to be agents of hope in a world that often feels hopeless, to offer freedom and liberation to those who are held captive by sin and pain, and to share the light of God's truth with all those who are lost in darkness. We pray for the courage and strength to live out this call, to be bold witnesses to the life-transforming power of Jesus Christ, and to bring his message of hope and love to all those we encounter. May your Holy Spirit guide us as we seek to follow in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May we be faithful servants of your divine mission, proclaiming your good news to all those who are in need and working tirelessly to bring forth your kingdom here on earth. Jesus Christ is the embodiment of love, mercy, and grace. He came to this earth not to condemn, but to save. He walked among us, healing the sick, comforting the sorrowful, and preaching the kingdom of God. He reached out to those who were marginalized and rejected, showing them love and compassion, and teaching us that the kingdom of God is founded on these principles. Jesus' mission on earth was to reconcile us to God and to each other. He taught us to love our enemies, to forgive those who wrong us, and to serve others with humility and compassion. He showed us that true greatness comes from serving others and putting their needs above our own. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus offered us redemption and the hope of eternal life. He overcame death and sin, and through him, we too can overcome the struggles and challenges of this world. His sacrifice on the cross was the ultimate act of love, demonstrating his willingness to bear the weight of our sins and to reconcile us to the Father. As followers of Jesus, we are called to continue his mission of love and redemption. We are called to be agents of change in a world that often values power and wealth over compassion and mercy. We are called to love others as he loved us, to serve our communities with humility and grace, and to share the message of salvation with those who have not yet experienced the joy and peace of knowing Jesus. In a world that can be harsh and unforgiving, the message of Jesus is one of hope and healing. 
He offers us a way to live that is full of purpose and meaning, and a way to love that is transformative and life-giving. As we follow in his footsteps, may we embrace his mission of love and redemption, and may we be a light in the darkness, shining his love wherever we go. In the parables of Jesus, he unraveled the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, revealing to us the fundamental truth that we ought to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will fall into place. Jesus likened the kingdom to a mustard seed, which starts small but grows into a tree that provides shelter for all. He also taught us about the value of faith, the significance of forgiveness, and the power of God's grace. Jesus' parables were not just mere stories, but they were powerful messages that conveyed God's plan for humanity. Through these stories, he taught us about the nature of God and the way he wants us to live. For instance, in the parable of the Good Samaritan, Jesus demonstrated the importance of compassion and kindness towards others. He emphasized that we should love our neighbors as ourselves, regardless of their race, religion, or background. In the parable of the prodigal son, Jesus revealed the depth of God's love and grace towards us. He showed us that no matter how far we have strayed, God is always willing to accept us back with open arms. This parable also teaches us about the significance of forgiveness and how we ought to forgive others just as God forgives us. In the parable of the talents, Jesus highlights the importance of using our God-given talents and resources for his glory. He shows us that we will be held accountable for what we do with what we have been given. This parable teaches us about the value of hard work, diligence, and stewardship. Jesus' parables are a rich source of wisdom that has the power to transform our lives. They reveal to us the nature of God, the importance of faith, forgiveness, and the power of God's grace. We ought to seek to understand and apply the lessons from these parables in our lives so that we may grow in our relationship with God and be a blessing to others. Jesus' mission on earth was not a simple one. He came to serve, not to be served, and to sacrifice his own life as a ransom for many. He knew that his ultimate purpose was to bridge the gap between God and humanity, and he was willing to pay the highest price for it. Jesus' death on the cross was not just a physical death, but a symbol of his love and sacrifice for all of humanity. He willingly took on the sins of the world, bearing the weight of them on his shoulders, so that we could have the hope of eternal life. Through his resurrection, he proved to the world that love is stronger than hate, light is more powerful than darkness, and life can emerge from even the darkest of places. Jesus' message was one of hope, love, and forgiveness. He preached a message of equality, encouraging people to love their neighbors as themselves and to treat others with kindness and compassion. He challenged the social norms of his time, standing up for the marginalized and oppressed, and calling out those who used religion as a means of power and control. In everything he did, Jesus embodied the true meaning of love and sacrifice. His message continues to inspire and transform lives today, reminding us that no matter how dark the world may seem, there is always hope. As followers of Christ, we are called to be his ambassadors on earth. Our mission is to continue his work and spread the good news of his love and salvation to all who will hear it. We are not called to be timid or apologetic in our message, but rather to boldly proclaim the truth of who Jesus is and what he has done for us. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus has made us new creations in him. We are no longer bound by the old ways of sin and death, but have been given new life and freedom in Christ. This is a message that we must share with the world, for it is the only hope of true salvation and transformation. As ambassadors of Christ, we are called to live out his love in our actions and relationships with others. We must be willing to serve and sacrifice for those in need and to show compassion and kindness to all who cross our path. This is not always easy, 
but it is the example that Jesus himself set for us, and it is the only way to truly reflect his love to the world. Finally, we are called to be instruments of his peace in a troubled world. We live in a time of great turmoil and division, but as followers of Christ, we are called to be peacemakers and bridge builders. We must seek to understand and empathize with those who are different from us and to work towards reconciliation and unity wherever possible. In all of this, our ultimate goal is to bring glory to God and to see his kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. May we be faithful ambassadors of Christ, proclaiming his love and truth to all who will hear it and living out his mission in every aspect of our lives. Lord, we come before you with open hearts and minds, ready to receive the strength and guidance we need to carry out the mission you have placed before us. We know that we are not perfect and that we may stumble along the way, but we trust in your infinite wisdom and love to guide us on this journey. We ask that you fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we may be empowered to love unconditionally, serve selflessly, and speak boldly of your love. Help us to see the world through your eyes, to notice the needs of those around us, and to respond with compassion and generosity. We know that this mission will not be easy, and that we may face challenges and obstacles along the way. But we also know that with you by our side, we can overcome anything. Give us the courage and perseverance we need to carry on, even when the road ahead seems long and difficult. We pray for the people we will encounter on this mission, that they may feel your love and grace through our words and actions. We ask that you open their hearts to receive your message, and that they may be transformed by your love and grace. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to serve you in this way. We trust in your unfailing love and mercy, and we know that with you, all things are possible. Help us to be your hands and feet in this world, and to bring your light to those who need it most. That is clear and direct. Father, we pray for unity among all believers, regardless of denomination or background. May we set aside our differences and work together to advance your kingdom on earth. Let our love for one another be a testament to your love for the world, so that those around us may see the power of your love and believe in your saving grace. As Jesus prayed in John 17 verse 21, we ask that you would make us one, just as you are one with him. May we be united in purpose and mission, with a shared vision for spreading the gospel to every corner of the earth. Help us to put aside our own desires and agendas, and to prioritize the work of your kingdom above all else. We pray for the church to be a shining example of unity and love so that the world may come to know you through us. Give us the courage to reach out to those who are different from us and to build bridges of understanding and friendship. May we be known for our love for one another, just as Jesus said, by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. John 13 verse 35 We ask for your guidance and wisdom as we seek to work together in unity. Help us to put aside our own egos and pride and to submit to one another in love. May your Holy Spirit be present among us, guiding us and empowering us to do your will. In a world that often seems to be filled with despair and hopelessness, it is our duty and privilege as followers of Christ to be bearers of hope. We must be a shining light in the midst of darkness, bringing comfort, encouragement, and love to all those around us. In places of conflict, we must be peacemakers. We must use our words, actions, and prayers to promote healing, reconciliation, and unity. We must seek to understand different perspectives, listen to the stories of those who are hurting, and work towards finding common ground. Among the lost and the lonely, we must be a friend and a family. We must be willing to reach out, to offer a helping hand, to lend an ear, and to share our own stories of struggle and triumph. We must be a safe space where people can find acceptance, belonging, and love. 
Through our words and actions, we must let the love of Christ shine brightly. We must embody his compassion, kindness, forgiveness, and generosity. We must live out our faith in a way that draws others to the light of his grace. So let us go forth into the world with courage, compassion, and conviction. Let us be the hands and feet of Christ, bringing hope, peace, and love to all those we encounter. May our lives be a testament to his goodness and grace, and may we always be ready and willing to share the hope that we have found in him. We offer you our deepest gratitude, O God, for the precious gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, and the glorious mission you have entrusted to us. We acknowledge that this mission is not only a privilege but a responsibility, and we ask that you empower us to be faithful stewards of the gospel. May we boldly proclaim the message of salvation to all, unashamedly declaring the truth of your word and the hope that it offers. We recognize that there are many who need to hear this message, and we commit ourselves to being diligent in sharing it with them. Lord, we ask for your guidance and strength as we seek to fulfill this mission. We know that we cannot do it alone, and we rely on your wisdom and power to guide our steps. May your spirit be at work within us, empowering us to be effective witnesses and ambassadors for your kingdom. May our lives be a reflection of your love and grace, compelling others to seek you and find salvation in your Son. And may all that we do be ultimately for your glory, as we seek to fulfill the mission you have given us. We pray all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Almighty God, we come before you today, humbled by your greatness and power. We acknowledge that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the creator of the universe and the sustainer of all life. We marvel at the beauty and wonder of your creation, and we stand in awe of your mighty works. We thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lived a sinless and perfect life on earth. Through him, you have shown us the true meaning of holiness, love, and grace. His life and teaching serve as a beacon of light in a world that is often darkened by sin and despair. We are grateful for the example he has set for us to follow and the hope that his life and sacrifice bring to us. We ask that you would help us to live our lives in a way that honors him and that we would follow his example of love and compassion towards others. We pray for your continued guidance and strength as we strive to live out our faith in a world that is often hostile to the message of the gospel. May our lives be a testament to your love and grace, and may we be a light in the darkness, pointing others to the hope that is found in Christ. Lord, we are in awe of the perfect and blameless life of Jesus Christ, as described in 1 Peter 2 verse 22. He was without sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. This is a remarkable feat considering the many temptations and trials that he faced during his time on earth. He was not exempt from the struggles that we face as humans, but he overcame them all through his unwavering faith in you. As we contemplate the sinlessness of Jesus, we are reminded of the great sacrifice that he made on our behalf. He willingly took on human form and lived among us, experiencing all the hardships and pain that we face. Yet, he remained sinless, even when it would have been easy to compromise his integrity. This is a testament to his divine nature and his unwavering commitment to fulfilling your will. Jesus' example inspires us to strive for righteousness in our own lives. We know that we will never be perfect like him, but we can seek to live in a way that honors your commands and reflects his character. We can turn to him for strength and guidance, knowing that he has faced the same struggles that we do and has overcome them. Thank you, Lord, for the sinless life of Jesus. May we be continually reminded of his example and seek to follow in his footsteps. Help us to overcome our own temptations and to live lives that bring glory to you. Jesus is the epitome of God's character and nature. 
He is the perfect reflection of his Father, and in him, we see the very essence of who God is. As the image of the invisible God, Jesus reveals to us the fullness of God's glory, majesty, and power. In him, we see the perfect balance of truth and grace, justice and mercy, and strength and humility. In his interactions with people, Jesus always demonstrated compassion, kindness, and love. He was never too busy or too important to listen to those who came to him, and he always had time to meet their needs. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and comforted the brokenhearted. His life was a perfect example of selflessness, service, and sacrifice. Despite facing numerous temptations and trials, Jesus never sinned. He remained faithful to his Father's will and purpose, even to the point of death on the cross. Through his death and resurrection, he conquered sin and death and opened the way for us to be reconciled to God. As our high priest, Jesus understands our weaknesses and struggles. He has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. He is our advocate before the Father, interceding for us and offering us forgiveness and grace. In him, we have a perfect mediator who can sympathize with our weaknesses and offer us the help we need. Jesus is the perfect embodiment of God's love, grace, and mercy. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and in him, we find the fullness of God's salvation and redemption. May we always look to him, follow him, and seek to imitate his character and example in our own lives. We stand in awe of the sinless life of Jesus, not because it highlights our human frailty and imperfections, but because it illuminates the divine perfection that is possible for us to attain. Jesus' life was a testimony to the fact that we, too, can live a life free from sin and in perfect union with God. But the beauty of Jesus' life lies not only in its perfection, but also in its grace and mercy. Jesus did not come to this world to condemn us for our weaknesses and failures, but rather to offer us forgiveness and the strength to overcome our struggles. As it says in John 3 verse 17, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. In this act of unfathomable love, we find hope and a path to redemption. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross was not only an act of atonement for our sins, but also a demonstration of the depth of God's love for us. Through his death and resurrection, we are given the opportunity to be reconciled with God and to experience the fullness of his grace and mercy. The sinless life of Jesus, then, is not something that should make us feel ashamed or unworthy, but rather something that should inspire us to strive for the same level of perfection and to trust in God's love and forgiveness when we fall short. In Jesus, we find not only a model for how to live, but also a source of strength and hope as we journey through this life. In the wilderness, Jesus faced the adversary and demonstrated his mastery over temptation. He did not cower or hesitate, but instead stood firm in his faith and used scripture as his sword to combat every lie and deception that was thrown his way. With boldness and conviction, he proclaimed, it is written, and relied on the truth of God's word to guide him through every trial. In these moments of confrontation, we find inspiration and courage to face our own battles. Just as Jesus used scripture as a powerful weapon to overcome temptation, we too can rely on the truth of God's word to defeat any enemy that comes our way. The Bible is a powerful tool that can give us strength, wisdom, and guidance when we need it most. As followers of Christ, we must learn from his example and take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, Ephesians 6 verse 17. We must be diligent in studying the scriptures, memorizing key verses, and meditating on God's truth so that we can be equipped to fight the spiritual battles that we will inevitably face. In the wilderness, Jesus proved that with faith and the power of God's Word, we can overcome any obstacle or challenge that comes our way. 
Let us follow in his footsteps and use scripture as our weapon to stand firm in the truth and resist every lie of the enemy. At the cross, we witness the ultimate expression of God's love for us. In the selfless act of sacrificing his only son, Jesus Christ, God demonstrated the depth of his love and mercy towards humanity. Despite our sinful and broken nature, God chose to offer us salvation and redemption through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Through the cross, we see the sinless life of Jesus Christ being offered as a perfect sacrifice for our sins. In his death, he took upon himself the punishment that we deserved so that we might be reconciled to God and made righteous in his sight. This profound mystery that God would take on human form and suffer for our sake is a testament to his love and grace towards us. As we reflect on the cross, we are filled with a sense of deep gratitude and humility. We are reminded of the incredible sacrifice that was made on our behalf and of the undeserved grace that we have received. Through the death and resurrection of Jesus, we have been cleansed of our sins and made whole, and we are invited into a relationship with God that is eternal and unbreakable. The cross is a powerful symbol of God's love and mercy towards us, and it serves as a reminder of the incredible sacrifice that was made for our salvation. As we meditate on the cross, may we be filled with a sense of awe and wonder at the depth of God's love for us, and may we respond with lives that are devoted to serving Him and spreading His message of love and hope to the world. Lord Almighty, we come before you today with hearts full of adoration and thanksgiving for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. He is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, and through him, we have access to the forgiveness and redemption that we so desperately need. We marvel at the perfect obedience of Jesus, even unto death, as he willingly went to the cross to accomplish your divine plan for the salvation of humanity. His act of sacrificial love stands as the ultimate example of submission to your will, and we are humbled by the depth of his devotion to you. It is through Jesus that we see the possibility of a new life, transformed by the power of your Holy Spirit. We are no longer bound by the chains of sin and death, but instead, we live in the freedom of your grace. We are called to live as children of light, shining your love and truth into a darkened world, and we are empowered to do so by the indwelling of your Spirit within us. Lord, help us to remember the sacrifice of your Son, and to live with gratitude and obedience to your will. May we never take for granted the incredible gift that has been given to us, and may we always strive to live as faithful followers of Jesus Christ. As we meditate on the sinless and perfect life of Jesus, let it ignite a passion within us to pursue holiness and righteousness. Let us not be content with mediocrity or complacency in our lives, but rather strive to follow in his footsteps, embodying his love in all our interactions and standing firm in our faith against the temptations of this world. May the Holy Spirit guide us into all truth, shaping us more and more into the likeness of Christ each day. Let us not be satisfied with simply knowing about Jesus, but rather seek to truly know him intimately and allow him to transform us from the inside out. Let the example of Jesus inspire us to love and serve others selflessly, to forgive those who have wronged us, and to extend grace and mercy to those who may not deserve it. May we reflect the light of Christ in all that we do and say, bringing hope and healing to a broken and hurting world. May our pursuit of holiness and righteousness not be out of legalism or obligation, but rather out of a deep and genuine love for God and a desire to honor and glorify Him in all that we do. Let us surrender our wills to His and allow Him to work in us and through us to accomplish His purposes. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and run with endurance the race set before us, knowing that in him we have the power to overcome every obstacle and to live a life that is pleasing to him. Lord, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and a burning desire to live our lives in a way that reflects the light of your love. 
We pray for the courage to live openly and authentically, to embrace who we are and to share our truth with the world. Help us to shed any shame or fear that may hold us back, and to trust in your unwavering love and acceptance. May our lives be a testimony to the transforming power of your love, drawing others to seek you and to experience the same freedom and joy that we have found in you. As we go about our days, may we be intentional in our words and deeds, seeking to love and serve others as you have loved and served us. In moments of weakness, remind us of the victory that Jesus has already won. Help us to fix our eyes on him and to press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. May we never lose sight of the hope that we have in you, and may our lives be a reflection of that hope to all those around us. We thank you, God, for your never-ending grace and love. May we live our lives in a way that honors you and brings glory to your name. Gracious God, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for the precious gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through his perfect life, sacrificial death, and triumphant resurrection, we have been reconciled to you and have received the gift of eternal life. We are humbled by the depth of love that you have demonstrated towards us through Christ. His obedience to your will, even to the point of death on the cross, is a model for us to follow. By his example, we learn to submit ourselves to your will and to live a life of sacrificial love for others. As we seek to live for you, we pray that your Holy Spirit would empower us to walk in the light as Christ is in the light. May we be filled with the fruit of the Spirit, that we may bear witness to your love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We ask that you would give us strength to resist the temptations of the world, the flesh, and the devil, and to live a life that is pleasing to you. May we be faithful stewards of the gifts and resources you have entrusted to us, and may our lives be a living testimony to your grace and truth. Thank you, O God, for the gift of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. May his name be praised forevermore. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, we come before you with hearts overflowing with gratitude and mouths filled with praise for the unmatched power of your Son, Jesus Christ. He who walked the earth, not only as a testament to your love and mercy, but as the living embodiment of your power to heal, save, redeem, and perform miracles, demonstrating sovereignty over the very forces of nature. We are in awe of the magnitude of his power as he calmed the raging sea, healed the sick, and even raised the dead. His miracles were not mere acts of kindness, but divine interventions that displayed your glory and authority over all things. Even death could not hold him as he conquered the grave and rose victorious, fulfilling prophecies made centuries prior. Through him, we have received salvation and the gift of eternal life. He has bridged the gap between humanity and divinity, granting us access to your throne and the power of the Holy Spirit. He has demonstrated that nothing is impossible for you and that even the most dire situations can be transformed by your grace. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son and for the love and mercy that you have shown us through him. May we never forget the power and majesty of your name, and may our lives be a testament to your goodness and faithfulness. And Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every kind of sickness and disease among the people. He didn't discriminate whether it was physical, emotional, or spiritual ailments. He healed them all. Jesus' ministry was marked by compassion, love, and mercy towards the afflicted. In a world where pain and suffering are a daily reality, Jesus came to bring hope and restoration. He didn't turn away from the sick, the broken, or the outcast, but instead, he reached out to them with open arms. Jesus revealed the heart of God, who desires to mend what is broken and make whole what has been shattered. Through his healing ministry, 
Jesus not only relieved physical pain, but also restored dignity, value, and purpose to those who had lost it. He showed that God is not distant or indifferent to our suffering, but he is intimately involved in our lives and desires to bring healing and wholeness to every aspect of our being. Today, we can take comfort in the fact that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He still heals, restores, and brings hope to the hopeless. We can approach him with confidence, knowing that he understands our pain and is eager to bring healing to every area of our lives. Furthermore, the word of God unequivocally declares, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 verse 16 this profound truth encapsulates the very essence of salvation, which is offered freely to all through faith in Jesus Christ. He who came to seek and save the lost, Luke 19 verse 10, by his death and resurrection, provided a way for us to be reconciled to God, redeeming us from the curse of sin and granting us eternal life. Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation, as affirmed in his own words, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. John 14, verse 6. This truth is not subject to debate or negotiation, for the word of God is absolute and unchanging. Salvation is not earned or achieved through good works, but it is a gift freely given to all who believe in Jesus Christ. As the Apostle Paul declared, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9. Therefore, let us not be deceived by false teachings that preach a different gospel, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Acts 4 verse 12. Let us instead hold fast to the truth of the gospel, which is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Romans 1 verse 16. Salvation is a free gift offered to all who believe in Jesus Christ as the only way to God. Let us not take this gift lightly, but let us instead live our lives in gratitude and obedience to him who loved us and gave himself for us. Throughout his earthly ministry, Jesus performed countless miracles that left no doubt about his divine authority and power. He calmed the stormy sea with just a word, demonstrating his complete mastery over nature and its elements, Mark 4 verse 39. He fed thousands of people with just five loaves of bread and two fish, showcasing his limitless provision and care, Matthew 14 verses 13 to 21. He even raised Lazarus from the dead, boldly declaring that he is the resurrection and the life, John 11 verse 25. Each of these miracles was not just a mere display of supernatural power, but a revelation of God's kingdom. For in that kingdom, there will be no more tears, no more death, and no more sorrow. The miracles of Jesus were a foretaste of that glorious place where all things will be made new and where God will reign supreme. The power of his miracles was not just limited to the physical realm, for they also had spiritual implications. Jesus' healing of the sick and the blind was a sign that he had come to heal the brokenhearted and to set the captives free, Isaiah 61 verse 1. His casting out of demons was a declaration of war against the powers of darkness and a reminder that evil would not triumph over good, Luke 10 verses 17 to 20. Indeed, the miracles of Jesus were a testament to his identity as the Son of God, the promised Messiah who had come to save his people. They were a display of his love, mercy, and power, and they continue to inspire awe and wonder in the hearts of believers today. As we reflect on the miracles of Jesus, let us remember that they were not just displays of power, but invitations to faith. There were signs pointing us to the good news of salvation and the hope of eternal life. May we never forget the power and wonder of our Lord and Savior, who continues to work miracles in our lives even today. 
Jesus' words in Mark 16 verses 17 to 18 give us a clear directive as his followers. He promises that those who believe in him will have the power to cast out demons, speak in new tongues, handle snakes, and drink deadly poison without being harmed. Furthermore, we are called to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. Jesus is not just instructing us to perform miracles, but rather empowering us to do so. He promises that the Holy Spirit, who raised him from the dead, lives in us. Therefore, we can walk in faith and believe for the impossible. As followers of Christ, we are not called to live in fear of the powers of darkness. Rather, we are called to stand firm against them and demonstrate the power of God's kingdom here on earth. We are to pray for the sick, believe for miracles, and boldly proclaim the gospel to those who have yet to encounter the love of Jesus. This is not just a call for certain individuals or leaders in the church. Jesus' promise to his followers applies to all who believe in him. We are all called to step out in faith and trust that the power of the Holy Spirit will flow through us as we seek to make a difference in the world around us. We are not to shy away from the supernatural power of God. Rather, we are to embrace it and use it to further his kingdom. Let us walk in faith, believing that Jesus' promise to his followers is still true today. Almighty God, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. We acknowledge that you are the creator of all things, the giver of life, and the source of all power and authority. We humbly ask that you pour out your Holy Spirit upon us in a fresh and powerful way. Give us a new zeal for your kingdom, a boldness to proclaim the gospel, and a passion to see the sick and suffering healed. Lord, we know that your word declares that we have been given authority in Christ to heal the sick, cast out demons, and do even greater works than Jesus did on earth. Help us to walk in that authority with confidence and boldness, knowing that you are with us always and that nothing is impossible for you. We pray that you would open doors for us to share the good news of Jesus with those who have not yet heard it. Give us opportunities to love and serve our neighbors, to offer hope and healing to those who are hurting, and to bring light into the darkness of this world. We trust in your promise that you are able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to your power that is at work within us. May your spirit fill us to overflowing, empowering us to live lives that bring glory and honor to your name. O oh God, we come before you with humble hearts, recognizing that we are in need of your help and guidance. We ask that you would help us to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who endured the cross for the joy set before him. We acknowledge that it is easy to become distracted by the things of this world and to lose sight of our ultimate goal, which is to live a life that glorifies you. But we know that by keeping our focus on Jesus, we will be able to run the race that is set before us with perseverance and endurance. As we look to Jesus, we are inspired by his life of selfless service, sacrificial love, and unconditional compassion. He showed us what it means to love our neighbors as ourselves, to care for the marginalized and oppressed, and to give of ourselves without expecting anything in return. We ask that you would help us to follow in his footsteps, to live out our faith with courage and conviction, and to be a light to those around us. May we be known not only for what we say, but for the way that we live as we seek to bring hope and healing to a broken world. Almighty God, we come to you in times of uncertainty and fear, seeking comfort and strength. We ask that you remind us of the countless miracles that Jesus performed during his time on earth. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and brought hope to the hopeless. His love and compassion knew no bounds, and he touched the lives of all who came to him. Lord, we know that in these challenging times, many of us are struggling with doubt and fear. We ask that you renew our faith and restore our spirits. Help us to be vessels of your healing love and instruments of your peace in a world that is broken and hurting. 
We pray that you give us the courage and strength to carry out your work, even in the face of adversity. May we never lose sight of the promises you made to us and the hope that we have in you. Help us to trust in your plan for our lives and to find comfort in the knowledge that you are always with us. In your infinite wisdom, you have shown us time and time again that nothing is impossible with you. You have the power to heal the sick, comfort the grieving, and bring light to the darkest of places. We ask that you work through us to bring your love and hope to those who need it most. We express our gratitude to you, O oh God, for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we have seen the fullness of your glory, experienced your boundless grace, and received the promise of eternal salvation. We acknowledge that it is only through the sacrifice of Jesus that we can approach you with confidence and receive forgiveness for our sins. As we reflect on the life and teachings of Jesus, we are inspired to live our lives in a manner that reflects his love and compassion. We recognize that our words and actions are a testament to our faith, and we strive to be a shining example of the transformative power of the gospel. We pray that you would work in our hearts and minds, transforming us into vessels of your grace and mercy. Help us to love our neighbors as ourselves and to seek justice and righteousness in all that we do. May your spirit guide us each day as we seek to live out the calling that you have placed on our lives. We give you all honor and praise, knowing that you alone are worthy of our worship and adoration. May our lives be a living sacrifice to you, reflecting the beauty and majesty of your Son, Jesus Christ. We offer this prayer in the powerful and precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Father in heaven, we approach your throne with an abundance of joy and a deep sense of gratitude for the victory that your Son, Jesus Christ, has accomplished over death and the grave. We come boldly before you, not because of our own merits, but because of the finished work of Christ on the cross. Through his resurrection, he has shattered the chains of death and conquered the power of sin, offering us a hope that surpasses all understanding and a promise of eternal life. In him, we have the assurance of salvation and the confidence that death has been defeated once and for all. We thank you, Father, for the incredible gift of salvation that you have given us through your Son. We praise you for the power of the resurrection, which gives us the courage to face each day with hope and joy. May your spirit continue to work within us, strengthening our faith and guiding us towards the truth of your word. Help us to live each day with a renewed sense of purpose, knowing that we are heirs to the promise of eternal life. May we be a light in the darkness, pointing others towards the hope that we have in Christ. And may we always give you the honor and glory that you deserve, for you alone are worthy of all praise. The verse from Romans 5 verse 8 emphasizes the depth of God's love for humanity. It highlights the fact that God didn't wait for us to become perfect or righteous before sending Jesus to die for our sins. Instead, he loved us despite our flaws and shortcomings and chose to send his only son to pay the ultimate price for our redemption. The death of Jesus on the cross was a painful and humiliating experience. He suffered immensely, not just physically, but also emotionally and spiritually. He was betrayed by one of his own disciples, denied by another, and abandoned by most of his followers. He was mocked, flogged, and crucified alongside common criminals. Despite all this, Jesus willingly chose to give up his life for us. He did not have to do it, but he did it out of love for us and obedience to his Father. His sacrifice was the ultimate expression of love, which demonstrated God's mercy and grace towards humanity. However, the story did not end at the cross. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day, proving that he was indeed the Son of God and that his sacrifice was sufficient to pay for our sins. Through his resurrection, we can have the assurance of eternal life and victory over death. The resurrection of Jesus is a powerful reminder of the love, 
grace, and power of God. It is a testament to his faithfulness to his promises and his commitment to redeeming humanity. As believers, we can take comfort in the fact that our sins have been forgiven and that we have been reconciled to God through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The empty tomb on Easter morning is a clear and undeniable evidence of the victory that Jesus achieved through his death and resurrection. He not only conquered death for himself, but also for all those who put their faith in him. The words of Jesus in John 11 verses 25 to 26, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die, are a testimony to the power of his resurrection. As believers, we affirm with all our hearts that we do believe in Jesus and his resurrection. Through his death and resurrection, we have the assurance of our own resurrection and the promise of eternal life in the presence of God. Death is no longer the end, but a gateway to a new and everlasting life. The resurrection of Jesus is the foundation of our faith as Christians. It gives us hope and comfort in the face of death knowing that we will be raised to new life just as Christ was. It also gives us the strength to endure trials and sufferings in this life, knowing that we have the power of the resurrected Christ within us. As we celebrate Easter, let us remember the significance of the empty tomb. It is a reminder of the victory that Jesus achieved over sin, death, and the power of the devil. It is a call to live in the power of his resurrection and to share the good news with all those around us. Jesus' death and resurrection represent the ultimate victory over death. By taking on human form and undergoing a physical death, Jesus destroyed the power that death held over humanity. This victory is not just an abstract concept, but a tangible reality that empowers believers to live boldly and fearlessly. The fear of death is a universal human experience, but it is one that Jesus has liberated us from. Through his death and resurrection, he has shown us that death is not the end, but rather a doorway to eternal life. This knowledge allows us to live without the constant fear of death and to instead focus on living fully in the present moment. Living a life free from fear allows us to pursue our passions and take risks that we might otherwise avoid. We are empowered to serve others selflessly, knowing that our ultimate fate is secure. This knowledge also allows us to share our faith with others without fear of persecution or suffering, as we know that even in death, we will be victorious. As we continue to live out our faith in a world that is often hostile to it, we can draw strength and courage from the victory that Jesus has won for us. We can serve others with boldness and compassion, knowing that death has no power over us. In this way, we can live out our faith as a powerful testimony to the love and grace of God. Lord, we praise and exalt your holy name for the victory that you have given us in Jesus Christ. He conquered death and the grave, and by his resurrection, he has given us a living hope that is steadfast and sure. We are no longer held in the bondage of sin and death, but have been set free to live in the fullness of your grace and mercy. We thank you for the inheritance that you have promised us, an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for us. This assurance gives us a confidence and a boldness to share the good news of the gospel with all those around us. We know that in Christ, death has lost its power and the promise of everlasting life is now ours. Lord, we pray that you would give us a renewed sense of urgency to share this good news with those who are lost and in need of your salvation. Help us to be bold in our witness, unashamed of the gospel, and willing to share it with all those whom you bring into our path. We pray that you would use us as instruments of your grace and mercy, that we may bring many to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. May your Holy Spirit empower us and guide us each step of the way, that we may fulfill the mission that you have given us to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to all the world. 
As we celebrate the eternal victory of Christ over sin and death, it is important for us to remember the calling that he has placed on our lives. We are to be his hands and feet in this world, carrying out his will and spreading his love wherever we go. It is not a suggestion or an option, but a commandment that we must follow with all our heart, soul, and mind. Jesus showed us the ultimate example of love by laying down his life for us on the cross. He served those around him with humility and compassion, healing the sick, feeding the hungry, and caring for the poor. He showed us that true greatness is found in service to others and that we are called to do the same. As followers of Christ, we are called to share the message of the cross and resurrection with all those around us. This message of hope and salvation should be evident in our lives, in the way we treat others, and in the way we live our lives. We are to be living testimonies of the power of God's love and grace, shining like lights in a world that is often dark and broken. We must also be mindful of those who are lost, hurting, and grieving. We are called to be a source of comfort and hope to them, offering a listening ear, a helping hand, and a shoulder to cry on. We must be willing to step outside of our comfort zones and reach out to those who are in need, just as Jesus did. I, as we celebrate the victory of Christ, let us remember our calling to be his hands and feet in this world. Let us love as he loved, serve as he served, and share the message of the cross and resurrection with all those around us. May our lives be a reflection of his love and power, a beacon of hope to those who are lost, and a source of comfort to those who are grieving. We boldly come before you, Lord, with hearts full of gratitude for the victory we have found in Jesus Christ. We acknowledge that it is only through him that we have been set free from sin and death, and that we now have the hope of eternal life. We pray for those who have yet to experience this victory, who are still living in darkness and without the knowledge of your saving grace. We ask that you would open their hearts to the truth of the gospel, that they would see the light of your love and be transformed by it. We pray that you would break down any barriers or strongholds that are preventing them from accepting your truth, and that you would use us as vessels of your love and grace to share the gospel with them. We ask that you would pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, drawing them closer to you and revealing the truth of your word to them. May they come to know the fullness of your love and the hope that is found only in Jesus Christ. We declare with boldness that you are the only way, the truth, and the life, and that salvation is found in no one else but Jesus. May all who have yet to know him come to experience the victory and freedom that is found in his name. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and thanksgiving for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through his death and resurrection, he has secured for us the victory over sin and death and has offered us the gift of eternal life. We acknowledge that we are unworthy of such a great gift and yet you have freely given it to us through your grace and mercy. We are humbled by your love for us, and we commit to living each day in the light of your Son's resurrection, walking in the newness of life that he has secured for us. We pray that you would strengthen us by your Spirit, guide us in your truth, and use us for your glory. May we be a light in this world, shining your love and truth to those around us. Father, we ask that you would help us to live in obedience to your will and to seek your kingdom above all else. May your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. Thank you, Father, for your unending love and faithfulness. May we live our lives as a reflection of your love and grace, and may we bring glory to your name in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne with hearts full of reverence and joy, lifting our voices in praise and thanksgiving for the exaltation of your Son, Jesus Christ. We acknowledge that his name is above all names and that it encapsulates the fullness of your grace, mercy, and power. 
Through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, we have been redeemed and reconciled to you, and we are grateful for the hope, strength, and salvation that his name brings. We confess that there are times when we fail to fully appreciate the significance of Jesus' name. We take for granted the richness of its meaning and the power it holds. Help us to be mindful of the greatness of your Son and the impact that his name has on our lives. May we never tire of proclaiming the majesty of Jesus, and may we always seek to honor him in all that we do. As we lift up the name of Jesus, we pray for those who do not yet know him. We ask that you would open their eyes to the beauty of your Son and the truth of his gospel. May they come to know his name and experience the life-changing power that comes through faith in him. Father, we thank you for the privilege of being able to call on the name of Jesus. We acknowledge that there is no other name that can save us, heal us, and transform us. We place our trust in him and his finished work on the cross, knowing that through him we have been made new and have received the gift of eternal life. We pray all this in the name of Jesus, our Savior and Lord. In the book of Philippians, we are reminded of the incredible humility and obedience of Jesus Christ. He willingly submitted himself to the will of his Father, even to the point of death on a cross. And because of his obedience, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. As believers, we recognize that Jesus Christ is not only our Savior, but he is also our Lord. He is the ruler and king over all creation, and every knee should bow to him, both in heaven and on earth. This is not a suggestion or a request, but a command from God himself. The acknowledgement of Jesus Christ as Lord is not just for our benefit, but it brings glory to God the Father. It shows the world that there is only one true God and that he is worthy of all honor and praise. It also reminds us of our own humility and dependence on God as we recognize that we are not the rulers of our own lives, but Jesus Christ is. This truth should impact every aspect of our lives, from the way we treat others to the way we spend our time and resources. It should shape our priorities and our attitudes as we seek to live in obedience to our Lord and King. So let us boldly proclaim the name of Jesus Christ and acknowledge him as Lord to the glory of God the Father. May we be faithful servants of our King, always seeking to honor and obey him in all that we do. Jesus endured the cross in obedience to your will, despising its shame, and is now seated at your right hand in the place of ultimate honor and power. His exaltation is a testimony to his triumph over sin, death, and the grave, a victory that he shares with all who call upon his name. The scriptures declare that he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Philippians 2 verse 8 Jesus' humility and obedience to death were the very things that led to his exaltation. This teaches us the profound truth that genuine greatness in your kingdom comes through service and sacrifice. Jesus' willingness to lay down his life for the sake of others is the ultimate example of true greatness. By his sacrificial death, Jesus opened the way for us to be reconciled to you. He took our sin upon himself and paid the penalty for it on the cross. Through faith in him, we receive forgiveness of sins and the gift of eternal life. May we follow in the footsteps of our Savior, seeking to serve others and put their needs above our own. May we, like Jesus, be willing to sacrifice for the sake of others and to live a life of obedience to your will. And may we always remember that true greatness in your kingdom comes not through power or prestige, but through humility, service, and sacrifice. The name of Jesus is not only exalted, but also incredibly powerful. In the book of Acts, we see the apostles performing astonishing miracles and healings in his name, which demonstrates the immense authority and power that is bestowed upon the name of Jesus. The scriptures state, by faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. 
It is through Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him, as you can all see, Acts 3 verse 16. Through faith in the name of Jesus, we can witness the impossible become possible. This means that the sick are healed, the oppressed are set free, and the dead are raised to life. The power of the name of Jesus is not limited by time or space, and it is available to all who choose to believe in him. Moreover, the name of Jesus has the power to break every chain and liberate us from the bondage of sin and death. When we call on his name, we invite his presence and power into our lives, and we can experience his life-changing love and grace. Lord Jesus, your name is not only exalted, but also incredibly powerful. Through faith in your name, we can witness the impossible become possible, and we can experience his life-changing love and grace. Let us, therefore, never underestimate the power of your name and continue to proclaim it with boldness and confidence. Lord, we stand in awe of the power and authority that is vested in the name of Jesus Christ. It is a name that is above every other name, and at the mention of it, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We recognize that the name of Jesus is the only name under heaven given to mankind by which we can be saved. It is through faith in this name that we receive the fullness of your grace and mercy. We believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation, and we proclaim this truth with boldness and confidence. May the name of Jesus be exalted in our lives, in our families, in our communities, and in the world. May it be a name that is revered and honored above all others. We declare that the name of Jesus is the name that brings healing, deliverance, and freedom. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being able to call on the name of Jesus in times of need, in times of joy, in times of sorrow, and in times of celebration. We thank you that through this name, we have access to your presence and to the fullness of your blessings. We pray that the name of Jesus will continue to be proclaimed throughout the nations, that hearts will be transformed, and that lives will be forever changed. As we reflect on the exaltation of Jesus Christ and the power of his name, our hearts are stirred to worship and our lives are transformed by the reality of who he is. Jesus Christ is not just any ordinary man, he is the Son of the living God, the Savior of the world, and the Lord of Lords. His name is above all other names, and at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. We can live with the confidence that comes from knowing that Jesus Christ is Lord. His sovereignty and power are unmatched, and he reigns supreme over all things. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and in him we find our hope and our salvation. In him, we are a royal priesthood and a chosen generation. The exaltation of Jesus Christ is not just a historical event that happened over 2,000 years ago. It is a reality that is still relevant today. His resurrection from the dead proved that he is who he claimed to be, and his ascension into heaven confirmed his authority over all things. He is alive and active, and his power is available to those who believe in him. As we meditate on the exaltation of Jesus Christ, let us be reminded of his love for us. He willingly gave his life so that we may have eternal life. He took our sins upon himself and bore the punishment that we deserved. He did all of this so that we may be reconciled to God and have a relationship with him. Let us, therefore, live our lives in a way that honors Jesus Christ. Let us seek to know him more deeply and to walk in obedience to his commands. Let us share the good news of his salvation with others so that they too may experience the power of his name. May our lives be a testimony to the truth that Jesus Christ is Lord and may we live with the confidence that comes from knowing him. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and reverence for who you are. 
We acknowledge that you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Creator of the universe and the Savior of our souls. We praise you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to forgive our sins and rose again to give us eternal life. We pray that your Holy Spirit would fill us with boldness and courage to proclaim the name of Jesus to the world around us. Help us to be unashamed of the gospel, knowing that it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. Give us the words to speak and the actions to live that will point people to Christ and bring you glory. We also ask that you would use our lives as a witness to the truth of the gospel. May our love for you and for others be evident in all that we say and do. Help us to be living examples of the grace and mercy that you have shown us, and may our lives reflect the transformational power of your Spirit. Father, we pray that the love of Christ would compel us to serve others, especially those in need. Give us eyes to see the hurting and the brokenhearted, and give us the compassion and courage to reach out to them with the hope of the gospel. Help us to be faithful stewards of the gifts and resources that you have given us, using them to advance your kingdom and to bless those around us. Finally, we pray that you would make us disciples who make disciples. Give us a heart for the nations and a desire to see your name proclaimed to every corner of the earth. Use us to share the good news of salvation with those who have never heard it and to disciple those who have come to faith in Christ. May our lives make an eternal impact for your glory, and may your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. In moments of doubt or fear, we often forget the authority that we have been given in the name of Jesus. We can sometimes feel helpless or powerless in the face of difficult situations, but it is important to remember that we have access to the power of the Almighty when we call upon his name. Jesus himself told his disciples that whatever they asked for in his name would be given to them, John 14 verses 13 to 14. He also gave them the authority to cast out demons and heal the sick in his name, Luke 10 verse 17. This same authority has been passed down to us as followers of Christ, and we are called to use it to bring glory to God and to advance his kingdom. When we pray in the name of Jesus, we are acknowledging his lordship over our lives and the world around us. We are declaring our faith in his power and authority. When we worship in his name, we are proclaiming his greatness and giving him the honor and glory that he deserves. And when we live our lives for his glory, we are submitting to his will and seeking to bring others to know him. In every situation, let the name of Jesus be our first response. When we are faced with temptation, let us call upon his name for strength and deliverance. When we are struggling with fear or anxiety, let us speak his name aloud and declare his power over our circumstances. When we are witnessing to others, let us proclaim his name boldly and confidently, knowing that it is through him alone that we can be saved. So let us not be afraid to use the name of Jesus. Let us pray in his name, worship in his name, and live our lives for his glory. And let us never forget the authority that we have been given in his name, for it is through him that we can do all things. Philippians 4 verse 13 Father, we lift up our voices in praise and thanksgiving for the gift of Jesus Christ. We boldly declare that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one can come to you except through him. We stand firm in the truth of his obedience, his sacrifice, and his victory over sin and death. We rejoice in the knowledge that Jesus is now seated at your right hand, interceding for us. We boldly approach your throne of grace, knowing that we have a high priest who understands our weaknesses and sympathizes with our struggles. We trust in his promises knowing that he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. As we wait for the day when we will see Jesus face to face, we commit to living our lives as a living sacrifice, pleasing and acceptable to you. 
We boldly declare that we will not conform to the patterns of this world, but will be transformed by the renewing of our minds, so that we may discern your will and walk in your ways. We pray that the power of Jesus' name would be evident in our lives, as we seek to love you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. May we be bold witnesses of your love and grace, sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with all those we encounter. We declare that Jesus is Lord, and that his kingdom is advancing in power and glory. We eagerly anticipate the day when every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Father, we lift up our voices in unbridled joy and thanksgiving for the undeniable power and grace of your Son, Jesus Christ. He is our rock, our salvation, and our eternal hope. Even as we live in this broken world, we take comfort in knowing that he sits at your right hand, advocating for us and leading us towards the perfection that awaits us in heaven. We acknowledge that we are unworthy of such mercy and love, yet you continue to pour out your blessings upon us without reservation. We are humbled by your generosity, and we pray that we might be worthy of the gifts you have bestowed upon us. Help us to follow in the footsteps of your Son, to love one another as he loved us, and to serve you with all of our hearts. Finally, we ask that you would guide us, protect us, and bless us as we go about our daily lives. We know that we face many challenges and obstacles, but we take heart in the knowledge that you are with us always. May your light shine through us, and may your love be evident in all that we do. Thank you, Lord, for the powerful truth of Romans 8 verse 34. We declare with boldness that Christ Jesus, who died and was raised to life, now sits at your right hand and intercedes for us. We stand in awe of this incredible reality, knowing that we have a high priest who sympathizes with our weaknesses and understands our struggles. We praise you for the depth of your love, which sent your son to die on the cross for our sins. And we rejoice that his sacrifice was not in vain, for he rose again in triumph over sin and death, and now reigns as our advocate and mediator before your throne. We find comfort and hope in the knowledge that Jesus is constantly interceding for us. When we stumble and fall, he pleads our case before you, reminding you of his own perfect sacrifice and declaring us righteous in your sight. When we face trials and temptations, he stands by our side, offering us strength and wisdom to overcome. Lord, we thank you for the assurance that nothing can separate us from your love. We are confident that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. We pray that this truth would be firmly rooted in our hearts and minds, and that it would give us the courage and strength to face whatever challenges come our way. May we always remember that we have a powerful advocate in Jesus who intercedes for us with love and compassion. In the book of Hebrews, we are reminded of the profound significance of Jesus' intercessory work. The author of Hebrews tells us that Jesus is able to save completely those who come to God through him because he always lives to intercede for them. This means that Jesus' ongoing intercession on our behalf secures our salvation not as a fleeting gift, but as a lasting covenant made possible by his eternal priesthood. Through his intercession, Jesus acts as our mediator, standing in the gap between us and God. He understands our weaknesses and struggles because he is shared in our humanity, yet he remains sinless. This makes his intercession both perfect and powerful, as he is able to empathize with us in our trials and advocate for us before God with perfect righteousness. The author of Hebrews emphasizes the importance of Jesus' intercession by contrasting it with the imperfect and temporary priesthood of the Old Testament. The priests of the Old Testament were human and therefore subject to sin and weakness, 
But Jesus, as the eternal Son of God, is able to intercede for us without ceasing, ensuring that our salvation is secure. This understanding of Jesus' intercession should bring us great comfort and confidence in our relationship with God. We can approach God with boldness, knowing that Jesus is standing before him on our behalf, pleading our case with perfect righteousness. We can trust in the promise of Hebrews 7 verse 25 that Jesus is able to save completely those who come to God through him, and that our salvation is secure in his eternal priesthood. The perpetual intercession of Jesus on our behalf is a central aspect of our salvation and our relationship with God. Through his perfect and powerful intercession, we have a mediator who understands our weaknesses and advocates for us with perfect righteousness. This should bring us great comfort and confidence as we approach God, knowing that our salvation is secure in his eternal priesthood. Jesus made a promise to his disciples, a promise that extends to all who believe in him. He said, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. This promise brings hope to our lives, a hope that transcends the difficulties and challenges of this world. It speaks of a future where we will dwell in the presence of God, free from the pain, suffering, and brokenness of this world. The promise of Jesus is not a mere wishful thinking or an empty promise. It is a declaration of his love and care for us. He is not only our savior, but also our loving shepherd who leads us to the green pastures and still waters of eternal life. He is preparing a place for us, a place that is tailor-made for each one of us, a place where we will experience the fullness of his love and grace. The work of preparation that Jesus is doing for us is not a haphazard or careless one. It is a meticulous and intentional work where every detail is carefully considered and planned. He knows our hearts, our needs, our desires, and he is working to fulfill them in his perfect timing. He is building a place that is beyond our wildest dreams, a place where we will be able to fully enjoy the beauty and wonder of his creation. The promise of Jesus is not just about a place, but also about his return. He promised to come back for us, to take us to be with him forever. This promise gives us the assurance that our future is secure in him, no matter what happens in this life. It gives us the strength and courage to face the challenges of today, knowing that our tomorrow is in his hands. The promise of Jesus is a source of hope, comfort, and assurance for all who believe in him. It is a promise that speaks of his love, care, and grace for us. It is a promise that assures us of a future that is beyond our imagination, a future where we will dwell in his presence forever. Let us hold on to this promise and let it guide us as we journey through this life. In addition to his work on the cross, Jesus also continues to work on our behalf in heaven. One of the ways in which he does this is through the sending of the Holy Spirit. In John 14 verse 26, Jesus promises that the Father will send the Holy Spirit in his name to be our advocate, helper, guide, and comforter. Through the Holy Spirit, we are able to experience the presence of Christ within us. The Spirit teaches us all things and reminds us of everything that Jesus has said to us. He guides us into all truth and empowers us for service. He transforms us into the likeness of Christ from glory to glory. The Holy Spirit is not just a vague force or power, but a person. He has a will, emotions, and intellect. He is the third person of the Trinity, and he has been sent to dwell within us as believers. The Spirit is the seal of our salvation, the guarantee of our inheritance, and the down payment of all that God has promised us. As we yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit, He works in us to produce the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. He also gives us spiritual gifts for the building up of the church and the furthering of God's kingdom. 
We can grieve the Holy Spirit by disobeying God, resisting His leading, or quenching His work in our lives. But when we confess our sin and turn back to God, the Spirit is always ready to restore us to fellowship with Him. Thank you, Jesus, for continuing to work on our behalf in heaven by sending the Holy Spirit to be our advocate, helper, guide, and comforter. Through the Spirit, we experience the presence of Christ, are guided into all truth, empowered for service, and transformed into His likeness. Let us yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit and allow Him to work in and through us for the glory of God. O oh Lord, we stand in awe of the multifaceted work of Jesus in heaven on our behalf. His intercession on our behalf is a constant reminder of His unwavering commitment to us. We are grateful that He is always there, advocating for us, and pleading our cause before you. Furthermore, we are grateful for His preparation of our eternal home. His promise to return and take us to be with Him gives us hope in a world that is full of uncertainty. We long for the day when we will see Him face to face and dwell with Him forever in a place where there is no more pain, sorrow, or death. And let us not forget the gift of the Holy Spirit that He has sent to us. It is through the Holy Spirit that we are empowered to live lives that are faithful, hopeful, and full of love. The Spirit reminds us of the truth of Jesus and enables us to walk in His ways. It is through the Spirit that we are transformed into His likeness. May this knowledge of the work of Jesus in heaven inspire us to live lives that are pleasing to Him. May we be faithful in all that we do, hopeful in the face of adversity, and full of love for those around us. May our lives reflect the reality of His kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. We come humbly before you, Father, acknowledging that we are weak and in need of your strength. We pray that you would empower us by your Holy Spirit to persevere in faith, even amidst the trials and temptations of this world. Help us to fix our gaze on you, the author and perfecter of our faith, and to keep our minds set on the things above, where you reside in glory. We recognize that our thoughts can be easily swayed by the cares and distractions of this life, and so we ask that you would renew our minds and transform us by the renewing of our thoughts. Give us the ability to take every thought captive and bring them into obedience to your will and your ways. May our minds be filled with your truth, your love, and your grace, so that we may think and act in ways that are pleasing to you. We pray that you would keep us from the snares of the enemy, who seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. Help us to resist his lies and his schemes, and to stand firm in the truth of your word. May we be clothed in the armor of God, so that we can withstand the attacks of the evil one and emerge victorious in every battle. We thank you for your faithfulness and your grace, which sustain us each day. May we continue to grow in our knowledge and love of you, and may our lives be a testimony to your goodness and mercy. O Holy Spirit, we humbly come before you and acknowledge your presence within us. You are the very breath of God, the one who empowers us to live a life that glorifies our Heavenly Father. We confess our need for you and ask that you would fill us afresh with your anointing. We recognize that you are our guide, leading us in paths of righteousness for the sake of your name. We ask that you would help us to be attentive to your voice, discerning your leading so that we may follow you obediently. We desire to be transformed by you, to become more like Jesus in every way. We submit our hearts and wills to your sovereign control, trusting that you will work in us according to your good pleasure. We also acknowledge that we are prone to sin and to grieve you, O Holy Spirit. We ask for your forgiveness for times when we have ignored your promptings, when we have quenched your fire within us, or when we have walked in disobedience to your leading. We pray that you would help us to be sensitive to your presence within us, that we may not sin against you. By your grace, we ask that you would help us to cultivate a deep and abiding relationship with you, O Holy Spirit. May we be filled with your love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, 
goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May we bear fruit that glorifies our Father in heaven, and may we be a blessing to those around us. We thank you, O Holy Spirit, for your constant presence, your unfailing love, and your unending grace. We humbly express our profound appreciation to you, O God, for the assurance of our salvation, which is a testament to your boundless mercy and grace. The hope of our future inheritance is an indescribable gift, which fills us with an unshakable sense of purpose and joy. The ever-present guidance and comfort of your Holy Spirit is a constant reminder of the depth of your love for us. We stand in awe of the ongoing work of Jesus in heaven, where he intercedes on our behalf, defending us against the accusations of the enemy. We eagerly anticipate the day when we will be reunited with him, and we will finally see him face to face. Our hearts overflow with gratitude as we contemplate the magnitude of the sacrifice he made for us and the magnitude of the love he has for us. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Amen. Heavenly Father, in the gentle light of this new dawn, we come before you with hearts open wide, ready to receive the boundless blessings you have in store for us. As we breathe in the fresh morning air, let it remind us of the breath of your Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, which gives life to all things. Today, we seek to immerse ourselves deeply in the understanding and embrace of your Holy Spirit, as revealed in John 14 verses 15 through 16, where Jesus promised the Advocate, the Spirit of Truth, to be with us forever. Lord, we acknowledge your commandments and strive to keep them, not out of obligation, but out of love for you. We understand that it is through our obedience and love that we invite the Holy Spirit into our lives. The Spirit of the living God, which Jesus promised to send as our helper and guide, is the very presence that makes your love real and tangible in our daily walk. As we step into the day you have made, we ask for the Spirit of the living God to fill us anew. Let it be more than just a notion, but a powerful force of transformation in our lives. Make your presence known to us in real and personal ways. Open our eyes to see you in everything and everyone around us. Sharpen our ears to hear your soft whispers guiding us through the trials and decisions we face. Father, we pray for the courage to let the Holy Spirit lead us in all aspects of our lives. In moments of uncertainty, remind us that the Spirit of the living God is our ever-present help, teaching us all things and bringing to our remembrance all that you have spoken to us. In our moments of weakness, let the Holy Spirit be our strength empowering us to overcome challenges and to stand firm in our faith. Lord, we desire for the fruits of the Spirit to be evident in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May these virtues not only be aspirations but realities that mark our daily existence. Let the Spirit of the living God mold our character so that we might reflect your love to a world in desperate need of hope. We pray for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon us and all who are seeking you today. May your Spirit break down barriers of fear, doubt, and unbelief. Where there is darkness, let your light shine. Where there is despair, bring hope. Where there is division, bring unity. Let the Spirit of the living God be the bond of peace that unites us all in Christ. In our families, workplaces, communities, and beyond, let us be conduits of your Spirit, spreading love, joy, and peace to everyone we encounter. Help us to be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit, to step out in faith when called to act, and to speak words of life and encouragement that uplift and inspire those around us. Lord, 
as we embrace the day ahead, keep us ever mindful of the Holy Spirit's presence in our lives. Help us to live in continuous awareness of that sacred companionship, consulting the Spirit in every decision and relying on His guidance in every action. May the Spirit of the living God not only dwell within us but overflow, touching the lives of those we meet with your love and grace. In moments of solitude, let us find sweet communion with you through the Holy Spirit. In the busyness of our day, let us not lose that connection, but instead find moments to quietly listen to the voice of the Spirit guiding and comforting us. Teach us to recognize and cherish these moments as precious gifts where the reality of your presence is most deeply felt. God, we acknowledge that living by the Spirit requires us to lay down our own desires and to surrender fully to your will. Help us to embrace this surrender not as a loss, but as the path to true freedom and joy. In every thought, word, and deed, may we seek to glorify you, allowing the Spirit of the living God to work through us to accomplish your purposes. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit, our comforter, teacher, and guide. As we journey through this day, let us be attentive to its promptings, open to its teachings, and responsive to its guidance. May the Spirit of the living God lead us into all truth, filling us with a deeper understanding of your love and grace. Father, we recommit our lives to you, asking that the Holy Spirit would be our constant companion, our source of strength, and our guide to living a life that honors you. Let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts, and let the word of Christ dwell in us richly, as we teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, and as we sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in our hearts to God. As we walk through the hours ahead, May the Spirit of the living God be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Guide us in the way of righteousness and help us to embody the love of Christ in every interaction and every decision. Let our lives be a testament to your transformative power, a beacon of hope to those searching for light in a sometimes dark world. We ask for the Spirit's wisdom in times of decision-making that we may choose paths that lead to life and growth. In conversations, let our words be seasoned with grace, reflecting the heart of Jesus. In our actions, let us move with compassion, driven by the Spirit's prompting to serve others and to spread kindness and justice in our communities. Father, in moments of temptation, Remind us that the spirit of the living God within us is greater than the forces that seek to derail us. Help us to lean on this mighty helper, to resist evil, and to pursue what is good and pleasing in your sight. Renew our strength and resolve that we might not grow weary in doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not give up. We pray for those among us who are facing trials and tribulations, that they may feel the comforting presence of the Holy Spirit. Wrap them in your loving embrace, Lord, and let them know they are never alone. Through the Spirit, provide them with the peace that surpasses all understanding and the hope that does not disappoint. Lord, let the Spirit of the living God also move in our communities of faith uniting us in purpose and in love. As we gather in your name, let our worship be a sweet fragrance to you, and let our fellowship be a place where your spirit moves freely, healing, restoring, and empowering us for your service. In our moments of silence, speak to us, Holy Spirit. In our times of prayer, intercede for us with groans that words cannot express. Deepen our relationship with you and help us to grow in spiritual maturity, bearing fruit that lasts and glorifying God in every aspect of our lives. As we lay down our burdens at your feet, 
Fill us with a sense of your peace and presence. Remind us that we are not called to carry our worries alone, but to cast them on you, for you care for us deeply. Let the assurance of the Holy Spirit's presence be our strength and our comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. We pray for a revival in our hearts, in our churches, and in our world, a revival sparked and sustained by the Holy Spirit. Let hearts be turned back to you, Lord, and let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. May the Spirit of the living God awaken us to the reality of your kingdom here and now, inviting us to partake in its unfolding story of redemption, reconciliation, and restoration. We give you thanks, O God, for the gift of this new day and for the presence of your Holy Spirit in our lives. May we walk in step with the Spirit, led by its promptings and empowered by its strength. And may the love of God the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. In this journey of faith, let us remember that the Spirit of the living God is not just a force to be called upon in times of need, but a constant companion, offering guidance, comfort, and wisdom at every turn. As we navigate the complexities of life, may we cultivate a sensitivity to the Spirit's nudging, recognizing its voice amidst the noise of our daily routines. Let this divine presence transform our ordinary moments into opportunities for grace and growth. We pray for the courage to be vulnerable before the Holy Spirit, allowing Him to convict, correct, and refine us. May we welcome its work in our hearts, even when he challenges us to step out of our comfort zones or to relinquish control. In surrendering to the Spirit, let us find true freedom and joy, for it is by letting go that we are lifted up, and in dying to ourselves, we find life eternal. Let the Spirit of the living God inspire us to acts of generosity and service, moving us to share our time, talents, and resources with those in need. In moments of joy, let our hearts overflow with gratitude. In times of struggle, let our spirits cling to your promises. And in all things, let our prayers be guided by the Spirit, aligning our desires with your will. Father, as we look to the future, we do so with hope and anticipation, knowing that the Spirit of the living God is already there, preparing the way. Let this assurance fill us with peace and embolden us to face whatever comes with faith and confidence. May we be agents of change in our world, led by the Spirit, to bring about your kingdom here on earth. In our quest for spiritual growth, let us not neglect the fellowship of believers. Strengthen the bonds within our church communities that we may encourage one another, bear one another's burdens, and grow together in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. Let the Spirit of the living God be the glue that binds us, creating a unity that reflects your love to a divided world. And at the end of our day, help us to pause and give thanks for the guidance protection, and provision you have granted us. In the quiet of the night, let the Spirit of the living God minister to our hearts, soothing our worries, healing our wounds, and replenishing our strength for the days ahead. As we rest in your presence, renew us, Lord, that we might rise with the dawn, ready to embrace the new mercies that await us, Lord. We are forever grateful for the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, which you have poured out upon us. May we never take this precious gift for granted, but cherish him, nurture him, and share him with the world. In all that we are and all that we do, let us be a living testament to the power and presence of your Spirit among us. We commit this day, our lives, and are all to you, Lord. 
trusting in the endless possibilities that lie ahead when we walk hand in hand with the Spirit of the Living God. Lead us, guide us, and use us for your glory. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the stillness of this morning, as the first light of dawn pierces the darkness, we come before you with hearts open, minds attentive, and spirits ready to receive the living word that you have so graciously given to us. Your word, alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword, penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow, it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Hebrews 4.12 Today, we seek to immerse ourselves in the truth of your word, allowing it to transform us from the inside out. Lord, we thank you for the gift of your word, a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. In a world filled with confusion and deceit, your word stands as the ultimate truth, unchanging, unfailing, and eternal. As we begin this day, we ask that you would open our hearts to understand the scriptures, that through your word, we might come to know you more deeply and follow you more closely. Father, let your word be the foundation of our lives. Just as a house built on solid rock withstands the storms, let our lives built on the truth of your word, stand firm against the trials and tribulations of this world. Teach us to treasure your word in our hearts, that we might not sin against you. Let it be our daily bread, nourishing our souls and strengthening our spirits. We confess, Lord, that too often we have neglected your word, allowing the busyness of life to drown out its voice. Forgive us, and help us to prioritize time with you, reading, meditating, and applying your word to our lives. In your mercy, draw us back to the well of Scripture, where we can drink deeply of its wisdom, find refreshment for our souls, and be equipped for every good work. As we delve into your word, reveal to us the truths you have for us. By your Holy Spirit, Illuminate the scriptures, making them come alive in our hearts. Help us to not only be hearers of your word, but doers also, applying its teachings to our lives, that we might be transformed into the likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we acknowledge that your word is powerful, able to judge the thoughts and attitudes of our hearts. Let it search us, Lord revealing anything that is not pleasing to you. Convict us of sin, lead us to repentance, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In the light of your word, let us see ourselves as you see us, and grant us the grace to change, that we might live lives worthy of the calling you have placed on us. We pray for the courage and boldness to stand on the truth of your word in a world that often rejects it. Help us to be witnesses of your grace, speaking your truth in love, and living out the gospel in every aspect of our lives. May your word be the sword of the Spirit in our hands, a powerful tool in the battle against the lies and deception of the enemy. Father, we ask that your word would not return to you void, but would accomplish what you desire and achieve the purpose for which you sent it. Let it go forth from our lips and our lives, bearing fruit in our own hearts and in the hearts of those we encounter. May the seeds of your word sown in our daily interactions take root and grow, producing a harvest of righteousness for your glory. As we go about our day, keep your word ever before us. Help us to meditate on it, ponder it, and cherish it. Let the truth of your word renew our minds guide our steps, and shape our attitudes and actions. In every decision, big or small, let your word be our guide, leading us in the way everlasting. Lord, we pray for those who have yet to hear your word or have yet to respond to its call. 
open doors for your word to be proclaimed and prepare hearts to receive it. Use us, Lord, as messengers of your word, that through our words and our lives, others might come to know the saving power of the gospel. Father, we give thanks for the precious gift of your word. May it dwell in us richly, teaching, admonishing, and guiding us in all wisdom. Let the word of Christ dwell in us richly as we teach and admonish one another with all wisdom and as we sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in our hearts to God. And whatever we do, in word or deed, let us do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. As we journey forward into the day that lies ahead, may our steps be guided by the profound truth and wisdom found within your word. Let it be a constant companion on our path, a source of light in moments of darkness, and a wellspring of hope in times of despair. Your word, O God, is alive and active, and we pray that it would actively shape our lives, molding us into the people you have called us to be. We acknowledge, Lord, that in the busyness of life, we are often distracted, our attentions pulled in myriad directions, yet we yearn for the deep peace and understanding that comes only from dwelling in your word. Help us to carve out moments of stillness in our day to sit at your feet and listen. Teach us the discipline of meditation upon your scriptures that we might find in them the strength to face whatever comes our way. In our interactions with others, may your word be on our lips, seasoned with grace and truth. Empower us to speak life into situations of death, hope into places of despair, and love into spaces filled with hate. May our words reflect the heart of Jesus, bringing comfort to the brokenhearted, encouragement to the discouraged, and guidance to those seeking direction. Lord, we pray for the church, the body of Christ, that it would be a pillar and foundation of truth in an ever-changing world. Strengthen your people to hold fast to the authority of Scripture, to preach it boldly and to live it faithfully. In a culture often at odds with your teachings, give us the courage to stand firm, knowing that your word is truth and it is the power unto salvation for all who believe. We also lift up to you those who are tasked with teaching and preaching your word. Anoint them afresh with the Holy Spirit that they might deliver your message with clarity, conviction, and compassion. May their words cut to the heart leading to transformation and renewal in the lives of all who hear. In our own study of Scripture, open our eyes to see wondrous things out of your law. As we read, study, and reflect on your word, transform us by the renewing of our minds. Help us not to conform to the pattern of this world, but to be transformed by your truth, living as lights in a dark world and as salt in a society that is often tasteless. We pray for the impact of your word across the globe. As it goes forth, from city streets to remote villages, may it run swiftly and be glorified. Break down barriers of language, culture, and resistance that all people might have the opportunity to hear and respond to the gospel. Stir up a hunger and thirst for your word among the nations, that many would come to know you and the power of your resurrection. Father, we are grateful that your word is not chained or bound, but free to accomplish your purposes. May it bring freedom to the captives, sight to the blind, and liberation to those oppressed by sin and darkness. Use your word to tear down strongholds, to build up the broken, and to restore what has been lost or stolen. As we prepare to close this time of prayer, we recommit ourselves to the study and application of your word. May it be deeply rooted in our hearts, producing in us fruit that will last. 
let us not be merely consumers of your word, but be doers of the word, impacting our communities and the world for your kingdom. As we stand on the threshold of a new day, filled with opportunities and challenges, let us hold fast to the promises found in your word. It is our guide, our comfort, and our hope, providing wisdom for the journey and strength for the journey's trials. Your word, Lord, is a treasure more precious than gold and sweeter than honey, offering light on our path and direction for our lives. May we approach it with reverence, eagerness, and an open heart, ready to be changed and to live out its truths. We pray that your word would deeply impact our relationships, infusing them with love, grace, and forgiveness. Let it shape how we interact with family, friends, colleagues, and strangers, guiding us to live out the one another commands it teaches. May our conversations be filled with words that build up rather than tear down, that encourage rather than discourage, and that speak truth in love. In moments of decision, let your word be our compass, pointing us towards choices that honor you. Give us wisdom to navigate the complexities of life, discernment to avoid the snares of the enemy, and courage to do what is right in your sight. May the principles and precepts found in your scriptures inform our decisions, big and small, leading us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Lord, in our moments of doubt and despair, remind us of your word's power to revive the soul and bring joy to the heart. Let its eternal truths be the anchor for our souls, steadfast and sure amid the storms of life. When the waves of uncertainty, fear, or grief threaten to overwhelm us, let us cling to your word, finding in its pages the comfort, hope, and peace we need. We also pray for those who have yet to experience the life-changing power of your word. Stir in their hearts a curiosity and a hunger to know you through the scriptures. Use us as vessels to share your word that through our testimony and our lives, they might see the beauty of your truth and the transformation it brings. May your word spread rapidly and be honored, not just in our communities, but in every corner of the earth. Lord, as we commit this day to you, we do so with confidence, knowing that your word is a firm foundation upon which we can build our lives. Teach us to apply its wisdom daily, to live out its commands, and to be shaped by its teachings. May we be like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in season and whose leaves do not wither. Whatever we do, let it prosper for your glory. In times of joy, let us remember to give thanks and praise recognizing your hand at work in our lives and acknowledging your goodness and faithfulness as revealed in your word. Let our hearts overflow with gratitude for all you have done, are doing, and will do as promised in the scriptures. Lord, we ask for perseverance to run the race set before us, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Let your word be the wind at our backs and the strength in our stride, pushing us forward towards the prize of your high calling in every season of life, in every challenge and victory. Let your word be our constant source of inspiration, motivation, and guidance. As we embrace the fullness of this day and all it holds, let us carry with us the power and the purpose of your word, O Lord. May it not only guide our steps, but also guard our hearts against the deceitfulness of sin and the distractions of this world. In a landscape often dominated by fleeting desires and temporal concerns, let your eternal word be the anchor for our souls, steadfast and immovable. We recognize, Heavenly Father, the privilege and responsibility of being bearers of your word. In a world hungry for truth and starved of hope, 
Let us be diligent in sowing the seeds of your word, watering them with love, and trusting you for the increase. Grant us opportunities to share your word with others, not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that their faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is himself the Word made flesh, the living testimony of your love and grace, we offer this prayer. Amen. We believe this prayer has added virtue to your faith and is already active in your life. We invite you to share your response by commenting, Amen. Your engagement is more than just support. It's a way to spread hope and faith. If you feel inspired, please share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily prayers that uplift and inspire. Your involvement is invaluable to us. We also welcome your prayer request. Feel free to leave them in the comments. And together, as a community, we will bring them before God. Your faith and our collective prayers can create a powerful force for blessings and victory. Remember, you're not just a viewer. You're a vital part of this journey of faith. Each like, share, and subscription helps us reach more hearts every day. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ accompany you always.